In today's Men 20 video, we're going to be going over the top five sets for success on offense in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a full mini scheme from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and it's going to kick off a new series that I'm going to be starting on my YouTube channel called The Five Sets for Success. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't um, heard of anything that I do, basically what I do is I try to help you get better at Madden NFL 20, and will also help you get better at Madden NFL 21. If that interests you, I would love for you to open or sign up for our Discord link. The link is in the description and in the comments of this video, so you can sign up and you can be notified whenever we go live. You can also ask questions over at that site and you can do a lot of different things at our Discord server. So I want to encourage you to join that. The link is in the description of this video. Okay, so five steps for success. What does that mean? How do, how do I think about that? And how does that help me get better at Madden 20? Well, the five steps for success is kind of a philosophy or a way of thinking. And I actually learned it from S. Gibbs and Z. Frost. These guys were old Madden guys. These were like, uh, I think Madden 12, Madden 11 was when I was watching them. And they taught me this. This is five steps for success. It's basically a simple way to think about your game. It's basically in the old days, you could have five specific audibles. Now, in this years in these Maddens today, you can have almost five different plays from every formation. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be breaking down every single playbook in Madden NFL 20, and ultimately I'll be breaking down every single playbook in Madden NFL 21, and we're going to start with the, the Arizona playbook just because that's the one I'm most familiar with. We're going to go through every single playbook. We'll start with the default ones because those will help you. But anyway, let's jump into the first set for success, and that's a base formation. So from Arizona playbook, the base formation that I like to use is spread Y flex. Now, you can use a variety of different formations for this, but one of the things that you'll want to make sure you do is pick a three wide receiver, one tight end, and one running back set, and that's going to give you probably the best uh, the best personnel grouping in the game, especially if you want to be a pass-based offense. So you can see here, I like the spread flex and what you want to basically do is you want to look for some type of route that they cannot guard. Basically, some type of specific base play that they cannot guard. And what I like about um, base formations, most of the time they're balanced. Most of the time they're two-by-two two sets or they're spread sets or they're compressed sets or whatever. But they do a really good job of staying balanced, meaning you can attack on the right side of the field on the left side of the field. So as you can see here, the mesh play is my base play. And I can attack on the left side of the field, I can also attack on the right side of the field, and I can attack in the middle of the field. If you scroll through this formation, you see that I can go to drive, I can go to Y stick, I can go to all sorts of different things. So the audibles that you want to set from this formation is you want to set the Y cross, you want to set the inside zone, you want to set the drive, and then you want to set the stick play. Okay, so that's kind of my basic base formation. This is a formation I'm going to come out in every single time. And in my mind, I'm going to be coming out in mesh every single play. The second set for success that you'll want to have is you'll want to have some type of 3 by one zone beating formation. And what do I mean when I say 3 by one That's typically a trips set. It's a set that you can use that you know that you're going to be able to beat the blitz. So from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, I really, really like the gun cluster halfback strong. And the audibles that you're going to want to set are mesh, mesh post, verticals, and Z spot. Okay. So those are going to give you, again, they're the, there's four receivers to one side of the field. So if they're in zone defense, they're going to have a little bit of a difficult time stopping a lot of these passing routes because you see there, there's a lot of different floods that you can do from the gun cluster. And that's what makes, that's a part of what makes it such an effective formation. The next type of set that you would like to have for success is something that you can use that is going to be very effective at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now, I like bunch quads for something like this. You could also use a compressed type set, so the cluster strong could work for this. I'm going to recommend from the Arizona playbook that you pick the gun cluster formation. And so you can use the audibles as mesh mesh post, verticals, and then Z spot shake. You see you've got two different corner routes. They're going to be able to get open on both sides of the field. So this is a really, really good, um, really, really good man beater because, again, you've got that compressed set. Maybe something else like the shotgun 
the single back bunch would be an example of a good man beating set this year. Bunch quads would be an example of a really good zone beating set. So you could kind of pl- plug and play here a little bit. But also, sometimes you'll find really, really good routes. For example, the gun doubles has some really good man beating principles here as well. So you could set some different audibles as, as well for that formation. All right, the third set for success that you're going to need, and this is really critical, especially if you're playing Madden NFL 20, you're going to need what's called a three-headed rushing attack. Now, three-headed rushing attack is is the idea of you're going to have the ability from three different specific plays that you're going to set to be able to run the ball to the middle, to be able to run the ball to the right, and to be able to run the ball to the left. In my opinion, the gun open flex does a really good job from the Arizona playbook. You could also use the pistol, but I really like the gun open flex because it has a couple of different specific runs as well as some RPOs that work off of it. So the audibles that I like to set in the Arizona playbook is I like to set the HB toss, the HB dive, the RPO read flat, and then the last play is some type of screen or some type of quick pass, maybe a slip screen, or you could just use a standard pass. I'll just use the double post, right? But these are the audibles that I use from the gun open flex. And you'll see here, I can run the ball to the middle with the halfback dive. I can run an off tackle left with the RPO, and then I could run the ball to the right with the HB toss, and I could also use the RPO to attack that right side. So now I'm basically attacking a defense three different ways. I'm attacking them on the right side, I'm attacking them in the middle, and I'm attacking them on the left. All right. The fourth set for success in Madden 20, and really in any year of Madden, is the Blitz Beater. This is a set that you could go to when you're facing those heavy, heavy pressures. A set that either you can get really good quick passes from, or a set that you can use to block multiple different people. So from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook, the, the formation that I like to use to beat the Blitz the most is the Gun Trips. I really like the Gun Trips to be able to beat the Blitz this year. I think it's got a lot of good things in it. You could also use the tray open, but gun trips and the plays that I like in this specific formation is I like to play stick wheel. I like to play RPO read bubble. And then I also like to play um, the, the play here If I can find it, fake screen wheel, that does a really good job as well. But this is kind of a a formation that I can go to for some quick passes. One other formation that I wanted to give you is the uh, shotgun doubles Y offset or the shotgun doubles. I use that as well to beat the pressure. So I I like to set mesh. Another play I like to set is weak, uh, weak flood and then angle smash. And then this play here, the jet touch pass or the RPO read FL screen. They've got a couple of really good plays there to beat the pressure blitzes that you're going to be facing in this year's game. And finally, the last set for success of the fifth set for success. This is an X factor formation. This is a a formation that you can go to, you know, maybe in critical situations, maybe a red zone offense. I think now the way that I kind of teach this is this is a go to red zone formation. What what are you going to call in the red zone? And for me this year, I really like shotgun spread Y slot. Again, because it's got a couple of specific types of routes. The first type of route it has is this curl wheel, which I believe has one of the best post routes in the entire game. It also has uh, Z shallow. So you've got wheel route on the right, wheel route on the left. This could also serve as a man beater. You got hitch seam. The seams are really, really effective in the red zone. And then you have PA read. You also could sub out that and put in the RPO read screen. But you want to have some type of play that is designed to be able to beat the either in the red zone or a complete mini scheme. In this scenario, it's a complete mini scheme. One other formation I really like in the red zone is the shotgun bunch quads, specifically the play QB draw. If you have a good escape quarterback, artist quarterback it's going to be very effective in combination with the play spacing but basically some kind of thing that you're going to do in the red zone another example of a three-headed rushing attack really briefly here would be out of the single back bunch you can run the ball to the right with a quick pitch you can then run the ball down the middle with the hb slash and then you can also run it outside with the end around and then your quick pass could be spacing it could be verticals it could be Uh, PA end around. It can be any of those different plays. So again, those are some quick 
overview of the five sets for success in Madden NFL 20. These are the five sets for success from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And if you would like to see me break down these actual plays, just come back to the channel. I'll be breaking down one formation a week. We're going to start with the base formation and then we're going to work all the way through it. So again, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been following me for a long time, I want to encourage you to sign up for our Discord server. If you have any problems with that, leave that in the comments. But I'd love for you to sign up for our Discord server. It's going to help you get more connected. And also, by the time I get to 100 people on Discord, I will release a free offensive and defensive ebook for you within the Discord server itself. So if you want to get that free ebook, you just go to Discord, sign up, and I will send it to you in a direct